Hi everybody, it's Cynthia here at the Cornell Farm Kitchen Garden once again. And I'm here standing by my cool weather veg box that I planted, oh, maybe eight weeks ago now. You can see that my peas are, have taken over this whole part of my bed and that these peas here are just coming on. So that's the beauty of succession planting. So I've got a lot of peas here and uh, they are absolutely delicious. So I happen to really love peas and I found out recently that my puppy also really loves peas. So um, now I have a new purpose to grow these peas not only for humans but for my pets. Okay, so you can see that these peas have absolutely gorgeous flowers. So I love this look to my garden. However, I am getting ready to pull this out pretty soon and I will be planting my cucumbers in this area. So um, I'm just hanging on to it for a little while longer so that Bluebell can have her peas and I can have one more crop coming from here. Then if you look down here, you can see that my uh, beets are growing here and I've got some radishes growing over in this area and you can see they've gotten a lot of shade as soon as I take this out these will get some sun and we'll get some nice greens for our salads. There are some times when it's a little hard to take out a beautiful plant to put in the summer veg that you want to grow but I also I love cucumbers as much as I love peas and so does my dog so we're all set we're going to switch this out for cucumbers next week. Now what we're going to do is go over to our next bed where I've been growing greens uh, for the, the my cool weather veg and we'll talk a little bit about um, bolting. So with that let's take a walk. So here we are in my greens bed that has gone to seed and uh, when the weather got hot last week and was 90s for several days uh, my arugula and my pak choy bolted. It's, uh, the sun triggers the plants to put on their seeds. So what comes before the seed? The flower. And look at these gorgeous arugula flowers. So people say well the, the um, greens get bitter after a plant bolts but um, when I saw this I just thought oh this will be perfect chicken feed for my darling chickens. So um, also these are the pak choy gone to seed and if I were to let these live like this they would drop their seeds and next season we would probably have a very good crop of both of these plants but um, I'm feeling a little bit more controlling at the moment and I, I know that the chickens will really appreciate this uh, arugula so I'm just going to pick this arugula for them and then I will plant something in its place. So arugula is pretty easy to pull out. Look at that. I just love to look at the roots and see what's going on. Okay, so this is just four plants. And look at all that great food, chicken food. If you have a plant that bolts, don't despair. Try it and see if you still like the plant. And if you don't, uh, let the flowers continue to grow a little while longer for the pollinators if you've got the room and if you don't have the room well then you can pull it out and plant something else in that in their spot. So with that then why don't we go feed the chickens? Here we go. Stay back. Let's get back. Go on. There we go. Everybody gets something. Okay. Look at all that great food, chicken food. 
So thank you all for coming to uh, our kitchen garden school today. Um, it's been fun to show you how to transition from cool weather veg to warm weather veg. And I uh, just want to let you know our greenhouse here, our retail greenhouse is full of fabulous summer veg plants now. The, um, the cucumbers, the tomatoes, the hot peppers, the, the uh, sweet peppers, and uh, we have a great selection of basil, and all kinds of herbs. So with that, I will bid you adieu and see you next time. <laughs>